Good morning, good morning, good morning YouTube viewers, good morning Facebook Nation, good morning to all people, all colors, all races, around the world, men, women, children, may you have the most beautiful day, have an awesome day, be the best person that you can be, and for whatever goals you have set forth for yourself on this day, may those goals come to fruition, and may those goals be a benefit to all of humanity, and with that, everyone, and I mean everyone, Good morning, beautiful, beautiful day. This is part of a three-part series, so all I did was point the camera in different directions of where I am, I'm underneath the same tree. But it's just beautiful from any vantage point in which you look. I love nature because this is what our creator intended for us. He intended for us to, to admire the beauty, to work with the beauty. But no, we wanna tear things down and we wanna build uh, fast food restaurants and we wanna tear up all this beauty, which displaces all of nature. So we have to, you know, we have to really, you know, look at what, what it is that's happening with this planet as well as what's going on in our personal lives. So this is part two of a three-part series entitled Broken System, Corrupt Algorithm. So today, yesterday we talked about, you know, I basically answered a question that, you know, most, most wouldn't be able to, you know, think that they had the right answer. And this is where light comes in, that once you you're tapped in these answers come to you you know because because you're putting on all new programs which is based on the laws of nature so today i want to talk in, to, in terms of relationship so broken system corrupt algorithm and in parentheses is uh relationships and the reason i want to address relationships is because relationships right now are all manipulated not all maybe i'd say maybe of, out of the whole world, I would say maybe 5% of, of marriages and relationships are legitimate. 95% of them are not. They're relationships out of convenience. And let me explain that. And the way that we come to realize that this system uh, that we're, you know, as far as relationship goes worldwide is broken because of the algorithms that men and women are playing. Men are dogs. I have to control. A man is nothing without me. Um, I, I'm in the man, I make more, a woman has to listen to me, and you know, a woman has to do A, B, and C. So you see that neither one is love. So this is a broken algorithm that we're playing. What love in actuality is, is love is the connection between a vibration. Your frequency is what brings you together, that's your sexual attraction. But the vibration that keeps you together is the heart. And most people would sit back and say, you know, uh, you know no, most people don't have a heart. If you can manipulate and you can deceive, you do not have a heart. And for a person to tell themselves this, they're in a corrupt algorithm within a broken system because actions don't, don't correspond with the words. So we can tell ourselves things till we're blue in the face. And again, because of this corrupt algorithm, this is why men are pulling back. So on the woman's side of it, how it's affecting women is women now, you know, they present themselves, so they'll present themselves and say, oh, you know, I'm a good girl, I'm a good woman, and I have everything, I don't need this, this, and that. But this corrupt algorithm says that, no, I want what you have as well. And I'm gonna present this false person to, you know, see what I can gain from it. And when these women are experiencing these men who are able to figure them out in 2.2 seconds, they literally just shut it down to move on because they're working within the parameters of a broken matrix. Therefore, you're never gonna be happy because what you're searching for, as I'm speaking for the women, what you're searching for is already in you. You've just been lied to so much that you, we, women no longer believe in themselves, that they possess good qualities because they care about what everybody else thinks. So they've, been, they've also learned to manipulate the rules within this matrix, whereas many men now are standing outside and say, hey, you on your own, no matter what you, I, hey, I'm not following you, you know? So this is how the downfall of how this corrupt system, and it's not just here in America, it's all over the world between relationships of men and women. And then on the man side, you know, us men, we are on this, this thing that, you know, our corrupted algorithm, our corrupted algorithm is from the single parent family, where a single parent brings men to a feminine, a feminine side of self. And this is how they manipulate the, the matrix, by playing the wounded. So if we play the wounded and we give enough and we say, oh, well, if I love you enough, if I, I spend money and if I do this, you're going to love me. A false sense of a broken system. You cannot buy love. You cannot buy somebody's affection and you cannot buy somebody's time. 
You know, most guys think, you know, what, what's wrong with me? And I want to explain this, guys. You, you'll say, what's wrong with me when you see, you know, a beautiful woman pull away where a beautiful woman was attracted to you? And what I'm saying to you guys is the reason that these that these these women may pull away from you is because you have a sense of self and they know you probably already caught them in manipulation without even your knowledge. Because once you be know start to know who you are, you know, they think of it as a game. You know, and there everything is manipulation. Can I get this? Can if I do this, what will this do? If I do that, almost like if I poke you here, what will this do? If I if I pinch you here, what will that do? If I did this to you, if I kick you in your foot, so they're always gonna be proud and, and to see. But stand up men will turn around and say, you know what? Take that somewhere else. And then when there is a phone call to say, hey, let me explain. I I don't care. I don't want to hear what you have to ex to explain. You know, I don't I don't want to know. I don't, I don't want to hear it. Oh, do you want to go out again? Yeah, sure. Let's go out. Let's do this. Because, and then, then they'll come because again, it's like, okay, well, this didn't work. Well, let me try this. So, you know, there's a corrupt system then. And us men, are we're playing into it when we're the ones that's supposed to walk away. And where you got a lot of men out here now being feminized and feminized just all the way across the board. And that's not good. That goes against the laws of nature. Being a man doesn't mean that you're dominant over a woman. Being a man means being a man. And being a woman means being a woman. That doesn't mean being a woman doesn't mean dominance over a man or manipulating a man. Well, this is why we're in the situation we're in. So, you know, I want to leave you with this because I have a relationship. I have a connection. And I want to explain this connection because this connection has nothing to do with the physical place that we call right here on Earth. However, it does have to do with a person that's on this Earth. So, as, I, as you come to light, as you come to light, as I explained in part one, and you start to realize how your, you know, your system works and how it applies to the universe, things change. You know, your, your awareness changes and how you view relationships changes. So my thing was, you know, I, I made the decision. I said, you know, I'm going to spend the rest of my life educating people to what's going on in the games that are being played. But I also um, have made the choice that many females can't be in a relationship with a person like me. Because um, I, I've made, um, I made, I've made a choice to encourage others. And when that happens, most people want to keep someone like that to themselves. This is why I understand relationship for me will not work. Whereas a female is trying to, you know, a woman is going to think that, you know, well, if I have a lot of guys around me, you know, this person is going to want me. No, that's a broken system. Let those guys have you. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm continuously doing me and I could care less. So, you know what I mean? As far as men, we have to begin to take on this type of mindset. But, um... So, you know, I knew that I would be alone. So I said to myself, I said, self, um, you know, would I ever find, you know, love? And there's a person, a content creator. So this is a second one. So the first one I was addressing a different content creator. This one I'm addressing another content creator because I know you watch me. I know that because of words that we use. We use those words. So I, I hear you and I speak to you as well. And we keep each other secret. But what I want to say to you, you know, and this is a female, and, and uh, you know, we're a couple. We, we've been, we have been, we've been together before this, this. And it was one of, during watching one of your videos where my I was speaking every word that was coming out of your mouth. And I was like, how does this happen? How am I doing this? So during the process of this, it was because I come to the realize this is not words speaking to me, but I felt it through the, my energy and I felt it through the transference that we were speaking to one another. And what I was saying was that, you know, you were, you made a choice before we even got here to stay in the cradle of, of us. So you stayed with the, with, with the cradle of, of, of our civilization and you've been a light and your light is getting brighter. And I chose to come into the fire, which is Babylon, which is why I'm here. And I'm finding it difficult. So, but I gained strength from you, you know, and I gained strength that, you know, that, that of who we actually are. So I always feel like I'm, I'm a king and you are my queen. And like we say, we're explaining and expressing to everyone that's on this planet that, you know, we all have certain ranks in this, this universe. And we all have certain positions in this universe. Some of us are teachers, some of us are judges. Some of us are actually going to be at war with the fallen ones. So we are warriors. So we're taking account of what it is that these, these beings have done to this earth. But to get back to our connection, this is something that will be coming out of her mouth as well. But, um, um, but to get back to us, um, our kingdom is yet to come. We left a kingdom. 
you know, because maybe there's turmoil going on in, in, in our kingdom, or maybe we're up next to, to take the throne. So, and it's not a spiritual thing, so don't get it twisted for anyone who's listening. We're not talking about a biblical throne. We're talking about an actual literal place because we are spirit beings within those dimensions. So each one of us, because the, the universe is so, uh, not so infinite, but the multiverses of universes is so infinite that we can be, we can, we can be Lord or creator or, or king or queen over another realm. And this is something that, you know, unless we open up our, our minds, we'll never, never gain the concept for, for this information to come to us. So I know that, again, you know, for females that are out there, no, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't stop me from having a relationship. It doesn't. But the thing about it is, is that, like I said, I'm coming to the awareness. And when you come to the awareness, you know who shares your, your, your vibration, your frequency and your vibration will bring the person to you that's for you. But sometimes you have to say to yourself that the realities, not the realities, but the locations and, you know, the different lives that we've taken on won't allow us to come together because we are each here for a specific mission. So I just wanted to say to you that uh, I can't wait to see you. I, I really can't wait to see you because you are truly, 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 truly a queen. And um, you're, you, you're my second half, you know, and hopefully, you know what I'm saying, we're, we're, we're one half of, of the same. So I just wanted to let everyone know, you know, with the broken, with this broken system and this corrupt algorithm that's being played, that when you remove these viruses from you, then your conscience, your frequency, your algorithms, everything is more in a positive and generative way, which is in compliance with the laws of nature. So with that, everyone, that is part two. And I'm gonna let you get on with your day. Hopefully, like I say, if it's too deep for you, play it back and then come into it again. And remember, stay for part three because part three is gonna talk about the broken system, corrupt algorithms that many of us make little comments to one another that can cause many people to get hurt behind the little comments that we make, the little innocent comments. And we're gonna share some of those. So with that, everyone, men, women, children around the world, may you have the most beautiful day where you have the awesome day. And with that, everyone, I'm going to change locations and peace and blessings.